Why does the narcissist choose evil over doing good? Why do they engage in immoral and wicked behaviours? Why do they hurt people? Rather than behaving in ways that are desired or approved of. Rather than doing what is morally right or being a benefit or advantage to someone. Why do they choose to destroy people instead of building people up? Building people up? The reason why the narcissist chooses evil over doing good is because they believe that they are better off that way. They believe that they are in a more satisfactory situation than they were before. They don't like doing things right because from their experience it has always left them worse off. It made them feel like they are always taking the back seat. Watching everyone else get what they want while they are left with the crumbs. They may have observed that people with certain personalities are more likely to get their needs met. And so they decided to take on some of those traits. They may have become more dominant and controlling. Less compassionate towards people who are experiencing trouble or pain. In their minds, you have to be ruthless to get ahead. You cannot take into consideration how it may affect other people because that would take something away from you. This is how they think. People who choose evil rather than doing good usually lack the capabilities and potential to succeed. So there is no incentive for them to do good. There's nothing that motivates or encourages them to choose the right path. Maybe they tried doing good in the past, just to find themselves being exploited. And then they learned that doing good doesn't work. They learned that they have to take on the traits of the person who exploited them. But one thing exploitative people always have in common is that they're never really happy. They're never really satisfied with what they have. Because deep down they know they don't deserve it. They know that they don't possess the qualities or abilities that merit that praise or reward. So how could they ever be happy? How could they ever have a sense of trust or confidence? When all they feel is shame for the acts that they have committed. and fearful that someone else might do the same thing to them. People who choose evil over doing good will never be happy. The consequences of their actions will eventually catch up to them. What you put out is what you get back and they will never be happy or satisfied from anything they achieve or obtain, from engaging in evil or moral acts. Because deep down they know that they are not worthy or deserving of anything good. But this is the path that they choose. They feel more comfortable engaging in evil or moral acts because they believe that it gets them what they want. They believe that they are better off that way. They have no faith in doing anything good or righteous. They don't believe that doing right will benefit them in any way. They place their trust and confidence in evil. It gives them instant gratification. But in time, 
it will catch up to them. And they will wonder why so many things are going wrong in their lives. Why they are always so miserable. They don't ever consider that what they did to you is the reason why they are now suffering. But this is just how God or the universe works. Whatever energy you put out there is eventually what you will get back. You reap what you sow. And that is why I would like to finish this video by promoting good and moral behavior. Be good to other people. Not just because it may help you down the line. But also because it is the right thing to do. Everyone deserves a good life. Everyone deserves to be happy. So let's love ourselves and love each other. And together we can make this world a better place. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsfathercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.